good morning, or good afternoon, depending on where you are viewing from in the world. Welcome to The Silent Forgotten. I'm your host, Chris, and today I will be sharing with you the life story of and visiting the final resting place of the Canadian politician and entrepreneur Frederick Frizay Stenson, better known as Fred Stenson, July 26, 1914 to June 5, 1990. Frederick Frise Stenson, better known as Fred Stenson, was a Canadian politician and entrepreneur, mainly in farming and other pursuits. He represented the electoral district of Peterborough as a municipal politician or MP in the Canadian House of Commons in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, serving from June 18, 1962 to November 7, 1965. He was born one of four children as Frederick Frise Stenson to Arthur Frederick Stenson, 1879 to 1965, and his wife, Emmeline Alberta Frise Stenson, 1878 to 1938, in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, on July 26, 1914. His other siblings included Muriel Stenson, who was born in 1916, Beryl Ethel Stenson, who was born in 1917, and Norma Stenson, who was born in 1919. He was educated locally and worked primarily as a farmer and in, and in other pursuits before pursuing a career in politics. He first served as a reeve for Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. He then decided to run for a seat in the Canadian House of Commons in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and was first elected to represent the Peterborough riding during the Canadian general election, which was held on June 18, 1962. The governing Progressive Conservative Party, or PC, won many of the seats in this election, and its majority government was reduced to a, a minority government. A member of the Progressive Conservative Party, or PC, he then represented the Electoral District of Peterborough in the Canadian House of Commons beginning on June 18, 1962. He was then re-elected to represent the Electoral District of Peterborough in the same seat in the Canadian House of Commons for another term during the Canadian general election on April 8, 1963. His term in office while representing the Electoral District of Peterborough in the Canadian House of Commons ended on November 7, 1965. During the next Canadian general election, which was held on November 8, 1965, he lost a seat in the Canadian House of Go Commons to James Hugh Faulkner, better known as Hugh Faulkner, 1933-2016, to who was a Canadian politician and a member of the Liberal Party of Canada. During that same general election, the Liberal Party of Prime Minister of Canada, Lester Bowles Pearson, 1897 to 1972, was re-elected with a larger number of seats in the Canadian House of Commons in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Although the members of the Canadian Liberal Party lost a small share of the popular vote, they were able to win more seats, falling just short of a majority. Following his, his time in the, following his time in office in the Canadian House of Commons in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, he retired from politics, having served a total of 1,239 days four months and 21 days in office. Following his retirement, he returned to his home in Peter, Ontario, Canada, where he continued with his farming and other pursuits until his death. He passed away in his native Peter, Ontario, Canada on June 5, 1990, at the age of 75. Following his death, he was buried in Little Lake Cemetery in Peter, Ontario, Canada. He was married to Charlotte Bernice Weart Stenson, 1916 to 2004, who was buried beside him in the Little Lake Cemetery in Peter, Ontario, Canada. Hi guys, welcome back to The Silent Forgotten. I'm Chris, your host. Today I am back at the historic Little Lake Cemetery in Peter, Ontario, Canada. It's a beautiful day out today, so I thought I'd do a couple more videos for you. It's cloudy, little sun, looks like it's about to rain, but I will do a little video for you. So, as I said, here, I'm, here I am at the Little Lake Cemetery in Peter, Ontario, Canada. So, as I mentioned, we will be visiting the final resting place of Frederick Frise Stenson, better known as Fred Stenson, July 26, 1914 to June 5, 1990. Now, he was a Canadian politician and entrepreneur, mainly in farming. So, I'll show you a little bit around the cemetery first, and I'll give you some history about the cemetery. There's a squirrel over there. As I just take you up this way, there's some people over here, so I'm not going to film them. 
we'll just go around here and I'll give you some history. As you can see, the, his the cemetery is pe pretty big. So here is a sign up here with the rules and regulations. Now, I'm not going to read that, but you can pause the video and read it if you like. Now, there's a columbarium over here. And there's lots of people buried in there with ashes. My grandmother and my nan's buried in there. It's under construction, so we won't go too far in there. There's a beautiful lake over there. Oh, I can't show you too much. There's a gentleman with a child over there. So I'll just read you a little bit here. So I will first tell you, the Little Lake Cemetery was founded in 1850 as a private trust company with a public mandate and was the first community nonprofit cemetery in Canada West. The original cemetery, um, the original cemetery that was downtown is, and is now Confederation Park was closed in 1854 and the bodies were moved to other lo locations including Little Lake Cemetery and the Pioneer Park Cemetery. Now the chapel over here was built in 1877 but it is undergoing renovation, so we won't go over too far over there to, to show you that. But, so, um, as of 2023, the Little Lake Cemetery is now 173 years old and is still an active place of burial. So, I will show you around a bit today, but I will do a separate video tour another day of this cemetery. So, I'm just going to show you a few things here first. So here is a memorial. This is a memorial garden to veterans, so I'll just read it to you. This memorial garden is maintained by the Commonwealth War Graves Commission and Little Lake Cemetery as a living commemoration to the 43 war dead and hundreds of veterans who are laid to rest in this cemetery, forever remembered. So, just go over here. I'll show you this bench. Neat little bench here. Dedicated in memory of Marilyn and William Reed, 1931 to 2020, and 1933 to 2004. So, go over this way. Now this neat building over here is the Morrill Mausoleum. Now, this gentleman was a, a man of distinct, distinguished, so I think he, he was a lawyer or a politician or a doctor or something I believe but I'm not really sure I'll have to do some more research on him and see if he's worthy to do a video on but I'll just take you up here and just show you a glimpse of those doors I want to be on the video pretty neat so we'll go over this way There is the family monument to Lieutenant Arthur Ross Ackerman, who I did a video on about a week ago, the war hero. So this goes up for a while up here, but I think we'll go up to the front here because our gentleman was just buried over here. And I'll tell you a little about him, so, about him when we get to the grave site. So this is a flat area over here and it's still got room for more burials but it's all flat stones. So as I said the cemetery was found in 1850 and is 173 years old in 2023. It closed or sorry the, the old cemetery closed in 1854 and the bodies were moved here as well as to Pioneer Park. Uh, but I'll do separate videos on the Pioneer Park too another day for you. So he's just buried up here. The cemetery does stretch on. There's squirrels everywhere here and a really nice cemetery.
some damage there, unfortunately. A couple of nice monuments over there, a bench. And a flower, watering thing to fill your jugs to water the graves. So he's just up here, if I can remember where he was. It's been a while since I've been here. Yeah, he's just up here. So, the gentleman again that we have come to see, come to see, his name is Frederick Frise Stenson, better known as Fred Stenson. He was a Canadian politician. Mainly in farming. He entered politics and was a progressive conservative party member who represented Peterborough in the Canadian House of Commons in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada from June 1962 to September 1965. He retired from politics um, after being defeated by Hugh Faulkner 1933 to 2016, a member of the Liberal Party of Canada. Following his retirement, he continued farming and with other pursuits until his death on June 5, 1990 at the age of 75. He was born in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada and passed away in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. So here we are. This is the final resting place of Frederick Frise Stenson, better known as Fred Stenson. Now that's the front of the stone. And then we'll go over here. Give you another view. Same as the front or the back, whatever you want to say. Stenson. And then as we look down here, it's hard to see because it's been raining. It says, Frederick, sorry, in loving memory of Frederick F. Stenson, 1914 to 1990, and his wife, C. Bernice Stenson, 1916 to 2004. So, so, Fred Stenson, thank you for what you did for Canada and Ontario in the Canadian House of Commons in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. May you rest in peace and thank you again. So, I will show you just a little bit more around the cemetery and then I will conclude the video and do another one for you gentlemen and ladies. So, as you can see, it goes on for Ever way over here. And over there. So I will end it there. So that concludes today's video. So if you like this type of content, please like, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button. Take care, stay, stay, stay safe, and we will see you on the next video adventure. Thank you so much. Bye for now.